Hey everyone, welcome back to yet another tips and tricks video about the Oppo Reno3 Pro. I have made several interesting videos in the past. You can browse through my channel if you are new and don't forget to click on that subscribe button and also hit that like button if you enjoyed watching this one. So some tips and tricks let's look at uh, in this video. So the first one is about the gesture like how you use the gesture to open an app. For example, I'll just lock the screen and if I just there you go it recognized and quickly opened phone manager now how do you do that you can assign to any application like if you quickly want to open the facebook you can just write w or v or any other gesture and then quickly open the application without having to even move the lock screen up so how you do that is just go to settings convenience tools just tap on this one and there is gesture and motions again you will find screen of gestures and here you will find again screen of gestures right below just tap on this one for example i have set a few other gestures here for example draw w to open the phone manager draw m to launch music all right so if i just tap on any of this one and i can delete the gesture we will go to screen of gesture like if i write m okay if i draw m what it want to do so start an app just tap on this one so any app that you want to open with using the gesture you can just enable that for example if i want to open youtube so if i just tap on youtube and draw m here on the lock screen i'll show you now so there you go so it recognized the m gesture and instantly youtube application is open so this way you can customize to your liking it's in screen of gesture draw m again you can set another one like slide right slide left slide up slide down even draw this arrow for opening an any application or even to directly call to any person that you want to call so this way you can quickly uh, write the shortcut let's say if you want to quickly record voice record you can just lock the screen like this and if i just draw the arrow like this boom there you go voice recorder is opened so this way you can actually assign the gesture and motion which is little nice trick i liked and that's why i'm showing you guys the next one is inside the convenience tool again we will move to convenience tools there are a lot of things that you can customize right over here so there is smart sidebar which basically uh, gives you access to like quickly open any application or do any calculation and stuff like that so you can customize this one toggle switch on switch off Okay, once you turn on here, you will see that smart uh, sidebar slightly. You can actually keep it to opaque so that you see properly. Otherwise, you can make it transparent and here's the default thing. So here's the sidebar. Boom, there you go. Now with this one, you can quickly open the contacts. You can quickly do whatever you want. Again, open the sidebar, record screen, screenshot. You have the messages. You can just tap on plus and add a bunch of other applications right over here. If I just want quickly want to open the Facebook, I can just do that with using smart sidebar again this is a little uh, nice toolbar which you can use and quickly assign or rather open anything that you want wherever you are on the screen you can always hide this one if you are using full screen app by toggling this one again that's a little nice thing there is also assistive ball here which is very nice as you can see this is a there is a floating uh, round circle over here if i just tap on this one i can quickly go back or rather take screenshot home recent and there is lock as well you can either use gesture operation to quickly do that otherwise you can tap on menu so whenever you tap on this one the menu pops up like instead of using this gesture button over here you can always use this assistive ball so it's basically as the name suggests it assists you in performing some operations similarly you have navigation buttons like how you want to customize this navigation button you can auto hide this virtual button which i liked as you will see right now so if i just go ahead and take back and tap on this one so auto hide now it's as if using full screen like if you want to bring the uh, home button here just swipe up like this and here you will find if you want to keep that permanently just tap on this one again the virtual button will be always on here again little trick that you can apply to customize this home recent as well as back screen all right guys moving on there is a little trick over here inside the display and brightness uh, if you scroll down all the way you will find low brightness flicker free eye care so just tap on that what it basically does is it uh, reduces the flicker effect while at low brightness for example the brightness level is set at a bit low right than usual one at this time there will be usually some flickering effect going on which you may not see but still it affects the eye so in order to avoid that you always keep this enabled this way your eyes will be safe again there is uh, this eye care mode here which is again it turns to a little bit warmer uh, color as you can see if i turn on the eye care 
everything becomes warmer like if you are reading some books at night i care will really help you and you can also choose how much warm and cool you want here you can customize that you can also turn every screen to like black and white as well so if you are reading something and you don't want battery to be consumed you can always keep this to black and white turn the eye care on again little trick here which i always appreciate if you have these kind of things for an android phone obviously again guys the next feature we will look at setting icon styles okay there are a lot of uh, icon styles that you can set so we will quickly move to home screen here and here you will find set icon style just tap on that one and as you can see by default this is the these are the icon styles right if i change it to material style so the icon style changes you can custom uh, do that you can customize like how much rounded corner you want how much the foreground to be uh, like the icons and as you are seeing even the icons itself like how big the icons you want to be uh, with the different angles different styles as you will see here so you can always enable this one and change it to your liking as you will see like the colors get inverted if i just tap on this one art plus icon so there are a whole lot of customization options here you can just enable that and change the way uh, it looks so that's how you change the icon style all right guys i think the video is already getting lengthy uh, more features will be covered in another video so hopefully you like this video hit that like button and share it with your friends don't forget to click on that subscribe button and do watch my other videos i have made some interesting videos on this channel all right guys i will see you all in another one till then take care everyone bye bye